Life is full of problems. They could be marital, financial, spiritual, or medical. Some of these problems can be solved by a phone call, money, political power, your doctor, or your contacts. However, you may soon come across a problem that defies any solution. In Kakrabading's book, Rules of Engagement, you will learn how to use the spiritual weapon of prayer and be victorious over evil when it comes knocking at your door. Now is the time to learn how to pray before the evil days come. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Rules of Engagement at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakwa Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakwa Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakwa is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakwa continues his exciting teaching on the subject, He That Hath, sharing principles that determine those who have and those who don't. In today's message, Kakwa explores the power of seeds. Let's join in. Matthew chapter 25, we have been sharing on the theme, He That Hath. It talks about the power of the talent. The kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, Matthew 25 verse 14, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. In other words, God gives you what he wants to give you. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey. Then he that received five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. So one person's talent increased to ten. 17 says, likewise he that received two gained other two. 18 says, but he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. 19 says, after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. He said, come and let's make accounts. Let's see what happened. 20, he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have given beside them five talents more. 21, his Lord said unto me, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. The next one, he said the same thing. Well done. But the last one, verse 24. Then he that received one talent came and said, Lord, I know you. You are a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, gathering where you have not stored. He said, and I was afraid, and then went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo there, thou hast that is thine. His master said, thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest that I reap where I have not sown, gather where I have not stored. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money at the exchanges, exchanges means the bank, so that at my coming I would have received my own with usury. Then he said, take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him that hath ten talents. For unto everyone that hath shall be given. And he that hath not, even that which he hath, the little that he hath, shall be taken away from him. God doesn't give things because of need or lack. God gives based on principles. So somebody can have and will continue to have and somebody can have nothing, and rather, even the little that he has is being taken away. That's why the people who are serious with God, they keep on getting knowing God the more. And the people who are worldly, they are even backsliding the more. So make sure you have. Amen. So the, 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 the question is, why is it that this man didn't have, the man with the one talent? What was the problem? We started examining it. One of the problems is that he did not sow any seeds. The people who are entitled to a harvest are not the people who are hungry. It's those who have sown seeds. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. 
God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. So if you are not getting any harvest, check your sowing. So one cardinal way to have is to be a sower. From today, may we have plenty. May we be sowers, not consumers. Look at five. A sower went out to sow. Those are people who plant seeds. And I said, a seed is anything that has the ability to multiply itself. It doesn't matter what it is. Once it can multiply itself, it's a seed. That's why a sperm is called a seed. Because it can multiply itself. That's why corn seeds are seeds. Because they can multiply themselves. He that have. So if we want to join the ranks of people who have, we must turn into sowers. If we want to join the ranks of people who, who don't have, we must turn into consumers. Like the prodigal son, Luke 15, 14. When he has spent all, he was a mighty consumer. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we learned that those who sow seeds will always have, and those who don't will not have. Join us tomorrow for the continuation of this powerful message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. I am five weeks pregnant. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you for prayers for the fruit of the womb. To the glory of God, it has happened, and I am five weeks pregnant. Thank you for availing yourself to be used by God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.